Hi there friends and welcome to Tutorials. This is Tudor and today we're gonna code a cryptocurrency trading bot in Python. Now we're gonna have to do a few things in order to get it started. First of all, we're gonna have to download the data from Binance and we're gonna get the price, the current price and the historical price data for any coin that's tradable under the sun, uh, I mean under Binance. Second, we're going to talk about a technical indicator that's mostly used when uh, traders decide whether to buy or sell a stock or a coin and that's the simple moving average. I'm going to explain what that is and we're also going to compute it using the price data that we get from Binance. Uh, thirdly, we'll use Plotly in order to plot all this uh, data that we're getting so that we can better visualize it. Fourth, we're going to create a strategy that um, will uh, help us decide whether to buy or sell a coin and five we're going to backtest that strategy in order to see if historically it would have made sense to use it and if it would have uh, created profits now um, first we're gonna have to understand what's a candlestick and then we're gonna have to understand what's a moving average so let's get started Imagine the price of a coin going up and down as it does during the day. Now imagine taking a portion of that day, say one hour. And you can see that at the beginning of the hour the price was here and that at the end of the hour the price was somewhere here. You can also tell that the minimum amount and the maximum amount reached within that hour um, are here and here. And so, if you take all this information and smash it together, you're going to get a candlestick. Now, if the candlestick is green, that means that during the hour the price went up, and if it's red, it means that the price went down. In technical analysis, moving averages are a way to smooth out the noise created by uh, price fluctuations. A moving average is simply a mean of uh, the closing prices of a stock or a coin over a pretty fine period of time. Say a 10 day moving average will take the cl closing price of the coin during the last 10 days, add them up together and divide by 10. The next day you'll do the same for the previous 10 days and so on and so forth. After enough days you'll get a line, actually just after 2 days you'll get a line and uh, that's a moving average. Now a simple strategy that is employed by algorithmic and non-algorithmic traders is to look when the price of a coin crosses over the moving average. Now, whenever the price goes above a moving average, it would potentially be a signal for you to buy. And whenever the price goes below, it's a potential signal to sell. There are many variations of this uh, technique, but one that we're going to work on today is whenever the difference between the price and the moving average is quite large, let's say it's about 3 or 4 percent of the actual price, that's when we're gonna either buy or sell a stock. This is what we're gonna be coding today, so without further ado, let's get started.
for our highest buy this is the sell signal and we can see that it definitely gets matched here if if not even even here um, here same deal we can we, we can um, confidently you know buy buy these things here and then sell over here as you can see the lower it goes if we somehow adjust our selling points to become higher and higher we might make even um, we might make a lot more profits uh, but for a simple strategy this is pretty good I would say so uh, this is the start of our Binance crypto trading bot in our next videos we'll improve our strategy maybe add a few different strategies and we'll also make it such that we can automatically put orders on the market whenever our strategy is being met.